Here's a quick video of their uh, shelter. It had the weeds growing above my head, as you can see how tall they are next to the red hazelnut there. Uh, and uh, quickly fitted out this pond with a bit of fly tipping. Somebody tipped the base of a pond. I've got that in the middle at the bottom. And then I bought a liner, just extended it a bit. It was to give them option for clay, minerals, washing, you know, sort of... Uh, be a bit natural but they're getting a bit big for the pond already uh, but that's all right it's done its purpose i seeded all this with clover even though it's got timothy grass and other grasses in there which are great for feed which was originally planned for the rabbits and this is the dog hut uh, that is uh, central to it all um, the pond is next to the entrance it's shielded above bit of perspex above the door and we got another section a run up the side because it did have squirrels in here all the logs put up and their escape route into the next room and shelter this is 32 square meters i believe uh, and we have all this i've planted a lot of legumes tree spinach honeysuckle hyssop mustard and a lot of legumes everywhere so they're all coming up nasturtiums um and uh, this was the squirrel run down the back there which i've taken out most of the logs already so uh, and i've cleaned and taken out of the dog house uh everything i've got to put a window in the back but it's massively insulated inside i just have to make a heated floor which is there's their carrier bags hey hey, hey. Woo, woo, woo. Whoa, 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 yes, hey, babies, yes, whoa, 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 so, we go back, there's the, uh, cleaned the floor, cleaned it all out of all the logs, I'm doing a cobble pathway that will lead to the door, a nice, nice solid pathway for different parts of the year, I'm going to put a couple of bits, panels of perspex on the other side of this mesh just to stop the wind in certain places make a new entrance here and then this here is the internals which has a small vent but not a great one uh, there's the floor so we can it's quite a big space to be able to create options in here for animals and uh, convert it to each type of animal as well so i've just bought some rubber to do the floor with uh, and then i was going to deck it up to the level of the door uh, and so they can come in and easy and out they can have perches places where the geese like to uh, look from above and look around see a lot so we'll give them that if it was rabbits or anything else, we'd design it all differently. Um, it's species-specific design and convertible, really. Um, that's the bee hut over there. There's no bees in it, it's just the stuff. I'm just, that's all the stuff I've cleared out of here that we had for the rabbits and the squirrels. Uh, and uh, there we go. That's what I've been working on, even though the future is undetermined I have still done what I can to make sure these guys are the most comfortable they can possibly be even though they still sleep with me they've still got no feathers so they've still got no heat control uh, mind you buttercups getting there uh, silica's a long way behind and she has other problems okay there you go there's another update of the animal shelter um, with these two little beauties inside